Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, Save Caroline! I am fired up! How about you? We are in the midst of a historic week in our town and it feels good! Thank you, Nolan and all for your focus, purpose, and help in our struggle with zoning. At the last meeting I attended, I was told by the town supervisor and a town board member that privilege of the floor did not need a lectern and to put it back. I did. At the next meeting, a town board member put a cease and desist order on applause or vocal recognition of the speakers. Crazy, eh? <laughs> Save Caroline got together and had this lectern made. And the dedication reads, donated to the town court and privilege of the floor on November 9th, 2022. Let's hope it becomes a part of all meetings to come, but that's yet to be seen. Thank you, Save Caroline, for this. Hey, R.C., where is the town board? Aren't they supposed to meet tonight? I think they're inside. <laughs> in the dark. Save Caroline is over 1,200 strong from every political party and from every walk of life. Some of us are poor, some wealthy, some never finished high school, some have PhDs. We stand together, principled and passionate, and we do not want zoning in our town at the present time. I sent an email and also mentioned in a previous privilege of the floor that a worthwhile read is Fate of Empires Search for Survival by John B. Glubb and All Societies Die How to Keep, Al How to Keep Hope Alive by Samuel Cohn. The board has been sent, meeting, sent many readings, charts, and other information pertinent to zoning by town residents. I would hope that some of these were read, but sadly, I do wonder. One of Glub's, one of Glub's main points is that when there is a transition from service to selfishness, it is a sure sign there is decline ahead. We have members of this town board who are selfish. This is the case with the majority of our town board Zoning Commission regarding zoning. Keeping this in mind, and I'm not going to talk much longer, let's review some ob observations I have made since I became involved in our attempt to save Caroline. The first public, public, the first public hearing, we weren't allowed to speak. We had to write questions on cards for after the presentation, and then the Zoning Commission Chair handpicked what to read. We were promised all unread questions would be answered on the website. My question regarding out-of-town signatures on a petition is still in the process of being answered. 
The zoning commission started with nine members and now has six. Five of the six were appointed from other committees. And do we have a farmer? Do we have a farmer on the zoning commission? No. We're an agricultural rural town. At a later meeting, and some of you were there, I think, I, I did a bad deal. I went over my three minutes. <laughs> and I refused to sit down. Now we need to assure the town board when we get up for privilege of the floor, I don't think we have to sign something but they're real nervous when I get up. <laughs> a proactive board would allow extra time during these crucial times. This board is reactive and selfish. Next came the disallowing of screenshots on Zoom. What? I ask again, service or selfishness? We don't want to be damby. We don't want to be Dryden, Groton, Ithaca, or a suburb of Cornell. No. Who do we want to be? Caroline. Caroline. We want to be Caroline. Who are we? Caroline. We are Caroline. Thank you.